Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Nico V here, back again with another Halo Infinite video. And this time, it is a video of hope. Hope for the mouse and keyboard players out there that have been viciously oppressed by the dirty controller players on consoles and their Xboxes. How could they? How could they? Um, so today we're going to be talking about something that is going to be added to Halo Infinite, and I think it will make mouse and keyboard players feel... Uh, a little more even on the playing field. Now, obviously, memes aside, why did I want to make this video? Well, first off, I want to say that I made a video a couple of weeks ago about deciding between mouse and keyboard versus controller and what you should play on Halo Infinite. Now, I didn't actually know that there was a, a big, like, debate going on on controller versus mouse and keyboard. That video was was literally made for people who like weren't sure what to use and i was just trying to explain why i thought controller was like a slightly better option for people that use both equally well and aren't sure what they're more comfortable with that's pretty much the point of that video it wasn't really to tell you if you're a mouse and keyboard player that you should switch to controller and it also wasn't to say that controller was so ridiculously dominant that it could it, it, it puts mouse and keyboard players in the trash can now the advantages of controller players are strong, but I need to say this right now because I've just been I've been thinking about this a lot. There's been a lot of comments on that video, um, and a lot of them are pretty much just frustrated mouse and keyboard players, which is understandable. It does it does suck when pretty much every FPS you've played up until this point, mouse and keyboard is the superior option, and then you get to Halo and suddenly it just plays so different, and it feels like controller players are cheating. But I need to say two things right now. Um, my opinion on the matter is that. One, mouse and keyboard is not as bad as you think, and two, controller isn't as strong as you think. The aim assist is strong because it helps because Halo's Halo's a tracking game. It's all about tracking, and tracking is a lot of people's weakest skill on mouse and keyboard. And I think those two things combined, just the fact that the aim assist sticks to them and that you don't have to track them, um, it gets rid of the hardest part of aiming for you. Now that being said, there are players on mouse and keyboard that have made it to Onyx. There, there's people that like are really good with mouse and keyboard that can do just as good. Um, and there's a big argument because the pro scene is all com controller users. I've been watching a lot of HCS uh, for the first time in a long time, and people like to point out that everyone in there is using a controller, so it's not really fair to mouse and keyboard users. And well, I think that's true, and I don't think that mouse and keyboard is going to break into uh, the competitive Halo scene at at any time soon. I do think that we also have to remember that these are people who have been playing Halo competitively for a very, very long time, and Infinite is just kind of getting into the spotlight, so the people that are just getting into Infinite are obviously not going to be as experienced as the people who have been playing it for, for t uh, playing Halo for 20 years. Um, and those, those players are going to be people that are using controllers, because um, they started on Xbox, and they've just moved on to PC, and that's what they're going to stick with. It's not to say a mouse and keyboard player can't break into the top. I kind of hope one does. I really do, just to kind of, just kind of shut you guys up. No, I'm just kidding. Um, just, I just, I think it is possible. It's just a lot harder. But I'm sure if somebody does commit, then they could break through. I pretty much just wanted to vent my thoughts on that really quick before we get on because I don't know. It's just been something that's on my mind. And uh, the video that I put out on the mouse and keyboard versus controller thing is like, it's my most successful video ever and it's got a lot of engagement and uh, thank you guys for that i appreciate you no matter what you have written down there all right so now let's get into the nitty-gritty let's talk about what is going to come to halo infinite that is going to make mouse and keyboard players feel a lot better and i need to say right now if you came to this video and you were hoping that i was going to say that 343 is going to nerf aim assist that's not going to happen i'm i'm truly sorry i think snipe down said it best the streamer uh just so you guys know i did beat that guy in a quick play match on his stream once just throwing that out there uh <laughs> um i'm just kidding but uh what he basically said in this clip i've watched is that they're not going to nerf aim assist because i probably 60 to 75 percent of of the people playing halo are, are controller users you have to imagine that pretty much everyone on xbox is using a controller even if it has mouse and keyboard support i doubt anyone's gonna bother doing uh plugging that in for their xbox and then when it comes to PC players, I feel like nobody I have talked to on PC actually seriously plays Halo on the mouse and keyboard. So PC players are a very small minority. And also, sorry, I should say mouse and keyboard players are a very small minority. And also, if you nerf the aim assist, it's just going to make 
everybody else dog shit at the game, and that's not something that 343 wants. Um, I may not like it, that's just the reality of the situation. And again, Halo has always Halo has always been a game that has been tuned for a controller, so I think it makes sense that the controller is the the better thing to use, in my opinion, just just historically, you know what I'm saying? But with all that negativity out of the way, I'm going to present to you guys the gift that the mouse and keyboard players have been waiting for in this whole video. What is going to make Halo Infinite a much better experience for you guys? And to do that, I have to go into the Twitterverse, so let's close Infinite here and log on to Twitter. Alright, so now we are on Twitter, a wonderful or horrible place depending on who you are, and we are looking at a tweet by John, I don't want to pronounce his last name because I'm scared I'll mispronounce it, but he's a big guy at 343, he's pretty much given us all the updates as it rolls out, thank you Mr. John. Um, and he says here in this tweet, this is an old tweet but I'm bringing it up, that they're going to add Fiesta, Tactical Slayer, SWAT, and Free For All playlist as we speak. Now, why is this important? Now, based on the reaction that I'm getting from the people on the mouse and uh, people from the play mouse and keyboard in the mouse and keyboard video, uh, the one versus controller, I feel like people coming in are new to Infinite and they're not very well versed in maybe like Halo multiplayer history. Because if you were, then you would know that you you would already know that mouse and keyboard is kind of the less optimal way to play, at least historically. And what SWAT is is it is a game mode where Nobody has any shields, if you and you're armed with battle rifles and precision weapons, so the name of the game is pretty much just shoot somebody in the head and you will one-tap them. Now, why is this important? Now, this is important because, like I said earlier, I think tracking is the most important thing in Halo, and the problem with tracking is it's everyone's weakest skill uh, on mouse and keyboard. Like, it's, it's just, it's not very easy to do, um, and I think that's where people fall short most of the time if they're using mouse and keyboard in Halo Infinite. Now, without the shields, you don't really have to worry about tracking as much and flicking to the head and the precision becomes much more, much more desirable. It's a much more desirable skill set as opposed to the controller. Um, you can hold angles and I'm still going to play this on controller and you can still do well with controller. Um, but with controller, you're not going to be able to flick up to those heads as quickly. So I think that this is going to be every mouse and keyboard player's favorite game type because... I think this is the one game type they're actually going to have an advantage over the controller players. Being that their aim is actually better than what a what a controller can put out. Um, obviously, this doesn't account for things like map control, like game sense, um, like team communication, things like that. So you can still you can still uh, lose and it, it won't put you on top. But I do truly think that mouse and keyboard players are going to are going to love SWAT when it comes out. So um, if you're one of those people that is kind of on the fence, you're like, ah, I don't really like Halo Infinite. I'm not really good at it. Maybe come back to it. Try out SWAT and maybe this will be your favorite game type. I know it's a lot of people's favorite game type because because it is fun. It does add an uh, a, it is a different way to play Halo. Um, but it, but it is fun. And who knows? I think you guys will will enjoy this if you are a mouse and keyboard player. But anyways, that is pretty much going to do it for the video. Essentially, what I want to talk about was SWAT. And uh, was this clickbait? It might have been. This might have been a clickbait video. I personally don't think it was. It's, it's a little clickbaity. I think mostly it's clickbaity because I think most people wanted me to say uh, that 343 was going to nerf aim assist. But unfortunately, that's just that's never going to happen. Just don't, don't count on that happening ever if you're a mouse and keyboard player. And if that makes you drop the game, I'm sorry. Um, but when SWAT comes out, maybe come back, give it a try, and maybe you'll like it again. Uh, this is a lot of people's favorite game modes, uh, and, you know, it is a different way to play Halo, and I think it will, it will, uh, appeal to those, uh, with, that are good at flicking more. But, if this game mode comes out, and you're still not doing very good, then I think you have to come to terms with, uh, maybe your aim's not as good as you think it is. Uh, that's not something I have to worry about, because I'm a controller player, and I let aim assist carry me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, feel free to leave a comment if you think I'm wrong, if you want to engage, put out your thoughts, th things like that. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't, I would appreciate that. And also, uh, follow me on Twitch. My Twitch is Nico underscore VZ. I'm trying to be a real Twitch streamer, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.